Hey, what's up? My name is Walter Lopez. I'm 21 years old. I'm an intern here at Yo. As you can see, we're here in the Yo office. We work back there. A lot of uh, concentrating people going on there, which is always a good sign. Um, I was fortunate enough to catch up with my friend Josue Rojas, who is doing a mural in Balmy Alley, which is in the Mission District of San Francisco. The mural is inspired by Enrique's Journey, which is a book based upon people and their plights that uh, they go through when they're trying to cross the border on top of a train. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, so check it out. My name is Josue Rojas, uh, I'm a journalist and I'm an artist and a uh, San Francisco local native. Can you just give us a brief or summary of the history to this alley? Yeah, yeah. Balmy Alley is really important to the history of uh, sort of public art in San Francisco. A group called Black Eye and a group called Presida Eyes have been doing work in here since like the very early 70s, uh, geared towards uh, the politics of Latin America. Um, and it's also got you know, a really huge tradition of um, the Latin American like mural sort of heritage. Can you tell us a little bit about which artists inspire you? I got a ton of them. Um, just to give you a quick story, uh, you know Diego Rivera, Frida Kahlo. Um, I love a lot. Diego Rivera is just he just pushes it. You know what I mean? He's a titan. You know he's one of those big guys. Uh, Orozco, uh, local guys, Estria, Spy. You know what I mean? Estria has been my mentor. He's been my teacher. He's like a he's a very uh, dedicated person. He's not only dedicated in his art, but everything he does, you know, he's a, he's a great guy. I love I love Estria. He's taught me a lot. Taught me most of what I know. Um, Twist. Barry McGee is a big inspiration. You know, growing up in the Mission, before it was a place to be. You know, before it was hip. Before it cost three thousand dollars for a studio. Growing up in the Mission, riding my bike around the neighborhood. Um, one of the only things that I really had go like was able to see was a public art. When did you get the idea for this mural that you're doing? All right, so for this mural that I'm doing, um, I really got really inspired by the, a book called Enrique's Journey. And um, this woman uh, this woman by the last name Nazario, Sonia Nazario, wrote, wrote about these young children who come from Central America, whose mothers are already in the United States. But they, the kids come from Central America to reunite with their mothers uh, via the tops of a train. So they kind of like, you know, they squat in this train as it travels through Mexico. So they suffer everything from... Um, Persecution, rape, murder, uh, they're, they're robbed by bandits. Some of them get knocked off the trains. Some of them get decapitated by poles and lines on top of these trains. There's a painting called The Guardian Angel that parents put uh, above their kids' beds. And it's uh, essentially just an angel guarding over kids, you know. So I wanted to have a child, like, still innocent, you know, with their wings, with their hands spread up like a wing, like with the wings. So he's imagining that he's flying and there's an angel behind him. So it's just a spin off of that. What I have now is like there's a kid, which this model is my nephew, uh, and you know he's definitely still in the childish, the child stage where they're, uh, he's pretending like you know you can fly. When you're a kid, you still have that ability to fly, so it's a young child, you know, on top of one of the trains, pretending like he can fly. And what's not on there yet is uh, the guardian angel above him. So I wanted to talk about the innocence of kids and the ability to be free, the ability to fly that you still have, and uh, the rest of the mural basically is just. Um, other other passengers on the train. Um, this train that goes uh, that goes through Latin America, through Mexico, and uh, what their what their plights might be. How long have you been painting murals? Uh, I started when I was 15, right around the time that my dad died. I needed something. I needed an outlet and uh, something to push and put all my energies into. And luckily, right around that time, I also uh, met Presida Eyes, a group called Presida Eyes, um, an artist named Estria who was running the Urban Youth Arts program at that at that point. So uh, I learned everything. In uh, about six months with Proceed Eyes, I learned more um, than five years in art school. What aspects of life drive your art? A lot of the pain, a lot of the pain that I've experienced in my life, I have I had like the, the this privilege of, of being able to <clears throat> sort of transform it, transform the pain and turn it into something that's kind of beautiful. And I've been very lucky to have that because I mean, how many people have, that I've grown up with or that I know have turned that pain into violence or turned that pain into uh, horror, you know what I mean? I've seen people that I've grown up with, have, I've seen them become murderers, I've seen them become gangsters, I've seen them stab people in front of my own eyes to death, you know? But uh, we don't really decide what our friends do, you only decide what you do. This fall was, I don't know, I feel like it, it just was meant to be.